Hello everybody, my name is Salim Murdy. This is my uh, photo essay on gentrification and I chose to focus on the neighborhood of Five Points in Denver. Uh, this first slide I feel was representative of the uh, definition that we were given in the video lecture as far as gentrification being a change in the population of land users from lower socioeconomic status or SES land users to higher SES land users in combination with changes in the built environment that results from investment. So uh, in this shot in the Five Points neighborhood, on the left there, you can obviously see this is some pretty new modern development. Uh, also rather pricey too from the looks of it. Uh, this area has definitely seen a lot of investment over the past decade and a lot of the property value shoot up as a result as well. Uh, I think it also kind of explains that shift from uh, lower economic status land users to the higher economic uh, socioeconomic status land users as well because obviously to be able to afford to live in a uh, townhome like those modern ones there on the left you would have to have a little bit more money. This second uh, picture, I really wanted to use the quote from page 146 of the Urban Theory reading, and which is talking about gentrification as a process, uh, specifically clay and the four steps of gentrification. This photo here, I think, was representative of the first step, which is the pioneers come, which is essentially artists, bohemians, and people willing to take risks in search of cheap housing. In the window here, there are a couple of little uh, artsy figurines. It looks like it is a uh, cheaper property too compared to the modern townhome I had shown in the other photo, so this can kind of be reflective of uh, not necessarily the wealthy moving into an area, but kind of that notion of edge dwellers uh, in an area, artists, bohemians, and, those, and the like. This next slide I think was representative of Clay's second stage of uh, gentrification as a process in which uh, developers and investors follow. This is uh, clearly a commercial space that is being developed here, and you can see it even has uh, the financial sponsor on display out in front as well. So an entity like First Bank is obviously going to have a lot of investors and investment in a commercial property like this in a neighborhood that is starting to see that shift in investment. This photo here, I feel, was uh, harkens to... The original use of gentrification by Ruth Glass in 1964, in which displacement is a crucial part of the definition, um, with that influx of investment and uh, higher socioeconomic status, people coming into the neighborhood, oftentimes uh, you can see, especially in the case of Five Points, if you walk around the area, the level of homelessness in the area is rather staggering. And the level of homelessness that is uh, more representative, I think, of the old demographics of Five Points, which was a historically black neighborhood, I feel like I really saw a lot of black homeless people in this area, which is unfortunate. But I felt this was a good representation of that Ruth Glass uh, definition, which emphasizes the displacement aspect of the definition. Uh, this last photo, I believe, also ties in again with that displacement uh, in specific page 149 of the Urban Theory reading discusses displacement as the forced disenfranchisement of poor and working class people from spaces in the places to which they have legitimate social and historical claims directly affects the spatiality of inequalities. Um, so on the left there, you can also obviously see the crane, which is, I think, illustrative development again. On the right, there are some chic uh, or sleek modern apartment homes, almost like a loft style. And then right in the center of the photo, you can see the Five Points Historical Cultural District Acknowledgement. Uh, again, acknowledging Five Points history as a historically black neighborhood. Um, 
and I, yeah, in this case, I think the disenfranchisement of poor and working class people, uh, class is, I think, inexplicably tied to race in our society. So obviously the poor and working class people in this situation and this specific gentrified neighborhood would be black people. Um, this was a great uh, module this week. I really enjoyed doing this photo essay project on gentrification because it is something that I feel I'm pretty passionate about. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much.